Today, we're doing Strixhaven, School of Mages. In 2022, is it worth it to buy a full set of boosters based on the value of the cards that you can expect to be inside? The reason that we're doing Strixhaven is because I wasn't playing Magic uh, during the time Strixhaven was released, but I played back in the early 90s. We were at our local game store, and there was a card that my wife saw that she thought looked interesting that she might want to add to her current commander deck. So I grabbed the card, and it happened to be in the Strixhaven set, and when we came to the counter, I saw a sealed box of Strixhaven behind the counter. Instead, we ended up just getting the sealed box because we didn't have any of those cards in our collection. But then once we opened it, we discovered the Strixhaven Mystical Archives, and the art on those were great. So after after opening the pack and we priced it out and the, the the value is pretty good. So I went and I threw this all into my algorithm and and my algorithm tells me yes you'll absolutely get more value out of the cards in an entire set of boosters based on the current price of set boosters, uh, which is is right around ninety dollars right now. So we have a box of set boosters. I did pick up a box of collector boosters that we'll do as well. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I've picked up. A bundle box to store the cards in because that's how I store my cards. But let's get into the set boosters. And here we go. got our demonic tutor dark ritual uh, among others got a few land cards in there uh, so we'll get this added up and got a lot of list cards but we'll get this added up and see how we did pretty sure we did okay uh, on account of that demonic tutor that already made up half of the cost of the box so here we go <laughs> Right. Well, that was pretty good. Uh, I did a rough scan of the value of those cards, and it turned out we did really well. There were a lot of list cards in that one. Um, a couple of them turned out to be of some value. List cards are good for me because it, it covers a lot of different sets that uh, I, I missed in the past 20 years or so. We are moving on to the collectors now. 
the school of Strixhaven School of Mages. I did not pre-scan that one, so I'm not sure how we did on that one. Uh, it's gonna, my inclination is that it's gonna be close if, if we didn't lose money on that one. But for the remainder of this video, I am going to open at least one of my bundles to see how we do in that. All right, so moving on to our bundle, we will see whether or not it makes up the $35 that these things cost. They are, they are draft boosters, they are not set boosters. Um, so that is a little bit different. Um, where's this three, seven, okay. That's it. I don't think we made it. Uh, maybe we made it. I, I don't know how much Liliana's worth. That'd be cutting it. If we made it, that'd be cutting it. All right, Strixhaven, School of Mages. Um, set boosters, absolutely, they're worth it, absolutely. Uh, may end up, I'll probably end up getting another box. And the collector boosters, I wasn't exactly expecting to make it on the collector boosters. We didn't get enough hits on it to make up the cost. Eh, maybe I'll get another one, maybe I won't. But set boosters, definitely worth it. Thanks for watching.